Chances are you know this man. Whether you've seen him in memes on social media or all over the news, you probably have an idea that he is a very wealthy and powerful person. But what if I told you Putin only makes $112,000 a year, or so he says. Since he became president of the Russian Federation in 2000, Putin's wealth and assets have been an enigma. The claims that he makes only $112,000 a year have been further brought into question as Putin's jets, houses, planes, and jewelry have crept out of the shadows. He's been spotted wearing at least $700,000 worth of luxury watches, nearly six times his reported yearly income. On top of that, he's linked to 58 airplanes, a fleet of yachts, and a private jet that has a $60,000 gold toilet. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to sit here and say I would hate having a solid gold toilet, but putting one on my private jet certainly isn't a necessity. Five of his 58 planes are rumored to be fitted out with $11 million cabins, with enough room for 186 passengers. One of his four yachts, called the Graceful, reportedly cost $1.2 billion. Of course, there are plenty of costs on top of owning extravagant planes and yachts, but the biggest mystery of all, and what many consider to be the key to unlocking the truth about Putin's wealth, is a one billion dollar mansion that was built in secret off the coast of a resort town in the Black Sea. The billion dollar mansion is one of the most expensive homes ever built, and many speculate that it was built with improperly diverted government funds. Naturally, Putin denies any connection to the mansion, but he's also denied a connection to eight other homes he is now known to own. Before we take a look at this star of the show, his billion dollar home, let's take a look at the homes that he is confirmed to own. There's a Putin version of the White House called Novo Argarevo. Presidents can opt to stay at the Kremlin, where most government business is done, but Putin instead opted to redesign Nova Argarevo, which was built in the 19th century. The estate is opulent, with a pool table, an indoor heated pool, two cold plunge pools, a sauna, several dining rooms, and several boardrooms. He also has an estate on Lake Valdai that is 23,000 acres on a private peninsula with access to boating and fishing. Of course, Putin can also take advantage of several other amenities, like the bowling alley, the indoor cinema, and even a private church. Of course, neither of these residences even remotely compare to the billion dollar estate, which has been nicknamed Putin's Palace. <laughs> has a nice ring to it, don't you think? I tried calling my home the Mr. Luxury Man Cave, but it never quite caught on. Putin's palace is tucked into 40 acres of forested mountainside on the edge of the Black Sea. The home is indeed a palace. It was built to resemble the vacation mansions of 18th century Russian Tsars, with massive columns, stone archways, and regal courtyards. The home is at least three stories, with an opulent staircase that leads up to the large patio and entryway flanked by massive Roman-style columns. The entire home is surrounded by wrought iron fence adorned with solid gold accents and topped with a large gold imperial eagle. I don't know about you, but a fence with solid gold eagles sounds a bit flashy to me, even for a world leader. In the center of the home, there is a stunning formal garden, which you can look at from the 79 windows that surround the courtyard. The garden is full of perfectly landscaped hedges, a large mountain and an arched awning. Some of the hedges are even trimmed into the shape of a heart. <laughs> Ah, even some powerful world leaders can get a little mushy sometimes, I suppose. Atop the home, there are three different helicopter landing pads, all of which normally have million dollar helicopters on them. Exactly something you'd expect a billionaire to have, isn't it? There have been very few glimpses of the interior of the home, but what has been leaked to the public says a lot about what can be found further in the residence. If you have an entryway like this, chances are, the rest of the estate will be dripping in gold. The Rococo room is accented with gold decor, lavish crown molding, scalloped columns, and stunning hand-painted watercolor murals reminiscent of those found in Renaissance palaces. The room is also adorned with two huge crystal chandeliers and dozens more hand-painted murals. It's not known exactly how many bedrooms are in the home, but what has leaked has shown us that these bedrooms are extravagant.
extravagant from floor to ceiling. The bedroom has a gold engraved ceiling with meticulous designs. The canopy bed, of course, is also adorned with gold. I'm sure you've noticed by now, but Putin's got a thing for gold. The home also has a private quarter for security and staff. There's a private indoor cinema, a pool, and an outdoor amphitheater, where I'd like to imagine Putin reenacts Shakespeare or reads over his public speeches. There's also an indoor casino and tea house, all of which are totally necessary when running a country. So, how has this extravagant estate been linked to Putin exactly? Well, a few years before the estate was built, several of Putin's close allies donated money to upgrade Russian hospitals. The government bought the equipment for these upgrades from, you guessed it, more of Putin's friends. Naturally, they got a very large discount, and those unreported savings were funneled into the offshore accounts of more of Putin's buddies. That money was then used to finance the palace in a project known as Project South. Near the end of construction, a whistleblower reported that Putin was directly in charge of the decoration of the palace and spent the majority of his time there. Very interesting to say the least. So, do you think the palace is really worth one billion dollars? Do you think his true wealth will ever be revealed? Let me know what you think about Putin in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip pip de doodly doo.